This is Thirsty for Spirit, and here are the top five reasons why I put crystal grids instead of throw pillows on my bed. So, I make my bed every morning, and if you don't make your bed every morning, I really think you should. It just brings in a clean, fresh, grounded, you know, energy from when you come home from work instead of just coming home to an unmade bed. It's messy. It might bother your mind a little bit. So I make my bed every morning and not only do I make my bed and as you can't see, as you can see, I don't have any throw pillows. And I don't have throw pillows for a couple of reasons because, and one of them is because it's not very environmental. You know, our society is made up of all of these things, materials, then you look at our carbon footprint from these factories. I mean, I go into Target and the seasons change. There's new furniture, there's new decorations, and it gives me anxiety because I'm like, where does all this stuff go when it doesn't get used, you know? Does it go to a landfill? Does it get donated? You know, does, what does Target do with the stuff that doesn't get sold? So I always think about that with all the home decor and it's not, I like to make my house look nice and I like buying new things. But just become a little bit more aware of like where you're buying things, you know, I would say buy locally. So I might get one throw pillow and I, I'm probably get it with like gratitude on it or some type of affirmation that, you know, when I come home and I see it, it just makes me feel good. It's putting that energy into my bed when I'm away. So throw pillows are out of here. And then the second thing I do is I put crystals on my bed. I make a crystal grid. And, you know, crystals are grounding. They're from Mother Nature. They're from, they're dug out of the, like, ground. Like, our earth made this, you know? Like, this is crazy. And when you put it on your bed, it grounds your bed. It clears the energy. You know, this is a selenite wand. And selenite is... You know, it's it's light. Like, look at it. You can see through it. It's it's one of my favorite crystals. And when you put this on your bed, it's clearing the energy. So if you slept bad last night, if you had bad dreams, you know, maybe you and your partner got in a fight or something, selenite on your bed is great, you know? So not only do you have a nice bed made, but you have these grounding crystals, these clearing crystals that are just putting energy on your bed as you're working. And a couple other crystals that are good is rose quartz. You know, rose quartz really is all about love. It's about your heart. And if you're sharing your bed with a pers partner, you know, your significant other, this is a great one to have on your bed every day. And selenite. So these are the two that I would most likely Oh, I always put on my bed if I can. Selenite and rose quartz because the definitions of them and the properties of them are just perfect for partners. They're perfect for clearing and it's really good energy. And then the third thing is you just spark creativity. You know, you wake up, make your bed and, you know, it's creative. It's you go around, you look on your, you know, we have lots of crystals here in my, in our room, but, and you go and you pick, like, which one's calling me today? Which one do I want to put on? How do I want to arrange them? Like, it's very creative. You're sparking your imagination. You're getting your mind on the ball, and it's really fun. So, like, these are organites, and in organites, they put lots of crystals in it, and then they also put um, copper because it makes the energy swirl out of the top and so it's also a, tra a pyramid. They're really cool. They're my favorite. We have a couple of them. I also have a friend that makes them and that's what this big one is back here. And so you could just pick out what is calling you that day and put it on your bed. So I also put this rainbow one today. I love rainbows. They're very significant in my life right now. Um, and you know, it's all seven chakras. So I put this and then I usually also always put this heart selenite because I am sharing my bed with a significant other, my partner, 
and I just want to radiate more love, as much love as I can, especially where we sleep and our energies and our consciousness kind of just like bounces off each other. And then today I put Archangel Hanel. He's an angel of joy. So like you could even put a picture of, you know, you and your significant other. I have a Lakshmi picture sometimes I put on. Like I have all so many crystals. I have malachite. I have other organites. You know, I have amethyst. Whatever is calling you and to spark that creativity early in the morning, I bet you will have a great day and everything will be working out great for you. And so another thing is that intention, you know, every, that's something that we really need to get back to that a lot of our society hasn't really has gone away from. We're so focused on our job and making money and paying the bills and, you know, where's the intention at? You know, I take a shower and my intention is to wash the energy off me. You know, I don't just go in there, scrub my hair, and I'm like thinking about what I'm going to do today, da, 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 da. Like, I try to be present. That's what intention is, is being present and putting out what you want to get out of the actions that you're doing. So let me say that again. An intention is being present and whatever action you're doing is what you're intending. So when I make my bed, I'm not mindlessly making my bed. I'm not like ruffling the sheets, doing as fast as I can. I'm late to work. Like give yourself some time in the morning to do all this. So when I'm making my bed, I make it's an intentional thing, you know? I'm making it, I'm thinking of my partner, I'm being grateful, you know, we just got this new comforter with eucalyptus thread in it. And then like you're intentionally picking out the crystals, you're intentionally putting them in a grid however you'd like. There's no wrong crystal grid at all. And you know, and you leave your room, you leave your space that you come to feeling great, feeling grounded, feeling love, and the whole day it'll just radiate this energy. So when you come home, you'll just feel it so fabulous. And you know, you could, you could just put one crystal. You could just put one little crystal on your bed and say, clear my bed today, or, you know, whatever comes to your mind you could just put it place it there in love place it there in gratitude and that would be enough for your bed so if you make your bed try maybe taking the throw pillows off try maybe putting some crystals on it and i bet you and your partner or you yourself if you live by yourself will seriously notice a difference here in your room because I do my partner does we just love coming home we love seeing these things I usually forget what I even put on my bed earlier that morning so it's just a nice practice to put into place and instead of just mindfully unmindfully doing things from the morning till day so give it a try